Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to upload Arduino code in ESP8266 ESP01 by using USB to TTL converter. I have prepared few tutorials on this ESP01 because it is a very interesting chip. Very low cost, around just rupees 100. It can generate Wi Fi signal, it can connect with any Wi Fi network. By using this ESP01, we can connect with different controlling devices as well as we can take data from internet or we can upload data to internet. So by using this small chip, we can develop different interesting IoT based project. All of my previous tutorial, I have shown how to upload code on this ESP01 by using Arduino board. But if we have USB to TTL converter, then to upload the code into this ESP01, it is a little bit easier. This is complete circuit diagram to connect ESP01 with USB to TTL converter FT232RL. ESP01 has 8 number of pins and FT232RL has in general 6 number of pins. In different USB to TTL converter, different number of pins might be there. Here I am using 4 pins of FT232RL, RXTX, VCC and ground. In ESP01, this pin is VCC and this is ground. VCC is connected with 3.3 volt because ESP01 is compatible with 3.3 volt. This 3.3 volt I may take from this FT232RL or I may get this 3.3 volt from external source. So this power supply, this ground. Next another two pins are receive pin and transmit pin. Receive pin of this ESP01 will be connected with transmit pin of FT232RL. Transmit pin of this ESP01 will be connected with the receive pin of FT232RL. Third pin from left at top, this is chip power down or chip enable pin. To enable the chip, this pin should be logic high. So in general, this pin is connected with VCC. Next this pin, this is GPIO 0 pin, this pin can be used as general purpose input output and this pin has an important role while we want to upload the code. At the time of uploading the code, ESP01 should be set in program mode. To set ESP01 in program mode, this GPIO 0 pin should be logic 0. To get that logic 0, I have used a push button switch. One leg of the switch is connected with the GPIO 0 pin and another leg is grounded. When this push button will be pressed, GPIO 0 pin will get logic 0. Top of this pin is reset pin. The chip will be reset when this pin will get logic 0 signal. To provide logic 0 signal, I have connected another push button switch with this pin and ground. So when this reset switch will be pressed, then this reset pin will get logic 0 signal and the chip will be reset. While uploading the program, nothing need to connect with GPIO 0 to pin. So what is the procedure we need to follow to upload the code in ESP01? We will press this program button and hold it pressed. While this program button is pressed, along with that, this reset button will be pressed for once and release. The ESP will be set as programming or flashing mode. Then we will release the program push button switch. So ESP is now in program mode. Now we can upload the code through this FT232RL. According to the circuit just I have explained, this is the board I have developed. Now I am positioning ESP in proper place. Placing FT232RL. Now connecting FT232RL with PC through USB cable. Opening Arduino ID. If anyone is using ESP8266 for the first time, he needs few setup in Arduino ID. First of all, we need to install ESP8266 Arduino core. For that, entering into file, preferences, Next here, in additional boards manager URLs, this link need to be pasted here. The link has been given in description section. After that, 
click OK. Now I need to install ESP8266. For that, I need to enter into tools, board, next board manager. Here to search, I am typing ESP8266. See here, it came ESP8266 community version. This needs to be installed. I have already installed it. So here it is showing installed. Next, I need to select proper board and COM port. For selecting board, tools, board, I will select generic ESP8266 module. And for selecting the COM port in tool, port, my ESP is connected with this COM port number 2. So selecting this COM2. Now uploading the code using very small code. Here the code is just to blink the LED. I have connected on LED at GPIO2. This is the pin mode sets GPIO2 as output pin. First digital write function will make that pin in logic high after one second logic low and this is in loop which will continue. So when this code will be uploaded and will be run, then the LED will be blinking with an interval of one second. Now I need to upload the code. Before uploading the code, ESP should be set in program mode. To set it in program mode, I am pressing and holding the flash button. Next pressing the reset button and releasing it. Next releasing the flash button. So my ESP is now in flashing mode. Now clicking this upload button to upload the program into ESP. Compiling case. Uploading. Uploading completed. Now we need to say whether the code has been uploaded properly or not. For that I am providing the LED connection with GPIO 02 pin using a short jumper. Now ESP should be set to run mode. To set it run mode, I need to press this reset button. While in run mode, I may provide the power supply that is 3.3 volt externally or for checking it, I may provide the power supply from this FT232 RL. So pressing this reset button, after pressing this reset button, the LED should blink with an interval of 1 second. Let's see. Yes, the LED is blinking. So my program has been uploaded 